you'd done the national company of Funny Girl, yes. and then someone else was doing it, and there was an accident. What happened next? Yeah, well, I, the national company means that I was doing Funny Girl while Barbara Streisand was doing it here in the city um, at the Winter Garden Theater. Mm -hmm. And the show was very, it was very, very successful, but we didn't go to New York. We went out to LA to the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion where they do the Oscar show now, and it was all very Hollywood, <laughs> which it is like so Hollywood here in the studio. I'm like dying. They have like, I could have spent the weekend here. Hello? <laughs> it's great in there. We got plenty of snacks. It's just great. And snacks, hello? <laughs> Hello, one ringy dingy, two ringy dingies. I can't live without my snacks. Okay, so I'm doing this. I came back, the show's done, and they had hired lovely lady Carol Lawrence, mm -hmm. who was the first Maria in West Side Story. And I, do you know? Oh, very talented. Chita Rivera, Chita Rivera, and Carol Lawrence. She was just great. She was on The Tonight Show, and she had a spill. She hurt herself. So what are they going to do? Uh, Westbury Theater in the round, 3,000 people. It was good. She was sold out. So they uh, called me last minute. It was very showbiz. They called me, you got to, can you come in? Can you do this? And um, my manager at the time was a guy named Jerry Weintraub, who was like a real, real big shot. He, he became a producer. A big producer. He produced Nashville and uh, all the, uh, the uh, movies. Uh, he was he was something else. He knew Elvis and um, Sinatra. He produced all these guys, so he knew how to ask. He got a lot of money for me. It was my payday to do that. And I ran. They sent a, a limo, and I ran to do the show. I had never rehearsed it. I didn't know the actors. It was like a dream. I was Plus, having like a dream that I had. A, you know, I had my costumes. I wore my own costumes. Well, when you were when you were doing the show uh, as part of the national company, you were doing it on a proscenium stage, which is sort of what we picture right. as a you know like a, a, a normal stage. Yes, but. The company that what was where where was Carol? Did she take over the national company no, or no, was no, it no, a no. different? Carol was just doing it at Westbury. She okay, had a just deal to a do it down deal there. And Westbury, uh, the theater there is in the round. Which it, means it's there's a, seats on all yeah, sides. It's of the all stage. round. And uh, I had never worked that way before. You know, I was used to having what we have here now. We have an audience straight ahead, and it's it's great. But this way, I would say a line. And the guys all back here would miss the line. So I had to come out as a pregnant bride and sing, I am the beautiful reflection of my love's affection. And I'm, you know, I had a big pillow underneath my gown. And I would show it and I get a big laugh. But no one laughed in the back because they didn't see it. <laughs> so I figured out that I would turn around. And I turned around slowly. So as I turned around, the they start laughing and the laugh would just go around. It was the most thrilling thing. And you had no rehearsal for that? No rehearsal at all. It was like I was on automatic pilot. I can only imagine that the ensemble really came through for you in a big way. <laughs> they were, they they were happy I saved their asses yeah. on that, let me tell you. I believe that what yeah. that's called uh, is shove with love. When someone hasn't rehearsed the choreography, the ensemble members will like just yeah. tuck you into I place. I mean, you have dreams about this. <laughs> Actors have dreams about this. They're going to end up doing something that they've never done before, and they don't know the lines, they don't know the people, and they have to kiss somebody. Oh, it was, but it was fabulous. It worked out. Mm -hmm. I knew this stuff really well.